We have a good community here. It's a great place to raise a family. I really feel like there's a strong sense of pride in the district. There's high expectations here for everybody. I think the effort really from our students is, is exceptional. And I think that starts from our staff. We put education first, relationships with the kids. We always want to just be there for them and do the best that we can for them. This school district in 2018 was selected by the National Department of Education as a Blue Ribbon School. We have had such good academics and received all these awards, and I feel like it's it, despite the building. At Red Rock Central, we're proud of our community's histories. We're proud of our student achievement and proud of our school. While our academic programs are in great shape, our facility is not. The oldest section was built before World War I, and that's why we're holding a referendum on November 3rd. My husband graduated from this building in 1955, and I don't think it has had many improvements since then. Our building is old, and it's a conglomeration of old buildings. That's why there's all the stairs connecting everything. My son had a, a severe football injury, and he was on crutches for three months with no elevator in the building. The teachers had to go down to first floor to hold his classes. We've got a boiler that's so old-fashioned there's only a few people that even know how to work on it. I know sometimes the roof will leak at some of the stairwells and it's just irritating. It's like, okay, can't go down that side. We got to all squeeze down the one side. In order to ease the tax burden on residents, question one asks voters to consider a decrease in the operating levy. Question two asks voters to consider building a new school. Levies are for learning, bonds are for building. The operating levy that they want to renew at this lower level is just for learning within our school. The bond is actually for building the new building and that's why they're two separate questions. We put our time in and looked at the remodel of this building and what it would cost and it's come to the conclusion that it's kind of a no-brainer to to build rather than remodel. The district took three years on an architectural evaluation, community opinion surveys, and community meetings. A community task force recommended building a new school. Renovation was determined to be too expensive, leaving a building that would still have 100-year-old sections not built for today's learning needs. A new building offers the opportunity to address ADA issues, create space for student collaboration, increase safety and security, provide new and efficient mechanical, electrical, and data systems, and add gym space and sufficient parking. Let's say your house is valued at $75,000, the increase would be $9 per year. To the farmers, I would really just say thank you. On the plus side there, they're gonna qualify for the Ag to School credit, and so uh, within, by 2023, 70% of that will be paid for by the state. Agricultural homestead property, valued at $6,000 per acre, will pay $2.63 per acre in additional property tax. Non-homestead would pay $5.25 per acre. Farmers are hurting, markets aren't the greatest, but it's the time now, because this is the cheapest we're ever going to get the school. Red Rock Central's school taxes are lower than or comparable to our neighbors' school taxes. Our needs are not going away. We know that. Uh, we know that right now is actually a really good time for this. We're really making our best effort to keep this as, as affordable as possible, uh, but also give our students the, the buildings that they deserve. Remember to vote on or before Tuesday, November 3rd.